I don't know if this is the fish I've been waiting for or not, but he feels freaking awesome. Hey there, so it's early morning. I'm out here at one of my favorite urban streams. It's not far from the house. And I haven't made it out here much this year. And the goal today is let's get some smallmouth on the let's get some smallmouth on the Calcutta Conquest BFS. And I'm also testing a new prototype rod. So like to maybe get some smallies on that. And then the, the sort of the second goal maybe we can do that on top water. So, wish me luck, let's hit the water. It's not normally a fish right here by this waterfall, but sometimes there is, so. Man, this, this rod and reel combo feels amazing. This rod is incredible. I do say so myself. Sometimes there is a nice fish hanging right over. Sometimes he's in the pocket. Now, as always, I mean, I do have a couple backup lures. just in case top water isn't getting it done. Oh. Well, I just barely got over that branch. Didn't really want to go out into this part, but I'm not going to lose my only buzz bait that I brought with me today. As I was trying to target this, this pocket right here is what I was thinking of. I thought it was there. It's one of those times where I'm like, you know, if I was trying to do this, Trying to hook this thing it's just this way. Probably couldn't. That's definitely a small right there. there now so I don't know how much that might affect this hole and their willingness to not only to bite but just to be here even oh, well okay well we had the first I was moving that one pretty fast too Didn't seem like a big fish. At least we had a hit on top water. That I have to go through. If you get too far to the shore, it actually looks shallower, but it's just deeper mud. Oh, 
that was another hit. Well, we didn't, uh, we weren't able to catch any on the, on the top water. I had a couple hits, but they weren't even on top of the water. So I know the fish are in, I know they're sort of feeding. So I was going to switch over to a wacky worm. Realized I didn't have my O-rings. So I just rigged it up straight on a wacky worm hook. This is really the last section I was going to fish and then I'll turn around and start working downstream. <clears throat> First little bite. There we go. A lot of biggin'. <clears throat> Feels nice. Well, there's another one with him, too. <clears throat> First, I thought I was just seeing a shadow. There we go. Nice little smallie. Tell you what, the, uh, the prototype rod felt great. There's a nice little fish. Well, I was trying to get a picture of him, but that did not work out. That's a couple hits there on this presentation fairly quickly. So we can guess that, the, and the other one was really chasing. Nice healthy fish too. You know, I've never thrown this setup before, so I don't know how much it weighs. I'm guessing somewhere around five grams probably. So you cast that out there. I can see how the braid gets caught on the on the surface and the floor leader lets it sink down a little bit let's see if I can get it out into the Sun here it's probably not going to show up but it it has this amazing twitching action and if you twitch it it's almost like a jerk bait I don't know this might be a new favorite rig for me I just I can't believe how this thing looks Okay, this is the crappiest part of this, is I gotta, this is like really borderline disgusting stuff to wade through. Oh, dang coming. Well, he felt it that time. That little guy. Oh, God. I don't know where he came from. I sort of saw him dart out and grab it. Okay, well, this approach has some merit. I'm just not getting them to not getting a good enough hook set on them. I'm not getting them to like really commit I guess. That's a good size snake. It scared the heck out of me. Really like snakes, you know. Oh, and he stopped to take a look at me too. Maybe the feeling was mutual. Maybe I scared him, he scared me. 
We're both just trying to get away from each other. Could be some fish holding down here. A shimmy worm or whatever I want to call it. I, it probably mimics a dying minnow more than anything. Okay, I switched over to a tube for a couple reasons. A, it seems like the fish want this a little bit lower. Um, and I tell you what, there is a um, there is one giant fish hanging with these other fish. All the other fish look pretty nice. I'm a, I've been assuming that the giant one, like, I mean, it looks like maybe, maybe bigger than 20 inches. I've been assuming that the giant one is a carp. But I'm now starting to think it is an absolutely stud. of a smallmouth. Okay, now that one right there is definitely a carp. You see this one in front of me. That was not the fish I saw before. There is three smallmouth right there, for sure. Okay. Well, what do I do? I'm going to tie this buzz bait on straight to the braid. I don't know. Couldn't figure them out. Had that one stretch where the weightless worm was working pretty good. Just couldn't land them. You never know when you limit yourself. You can always second guess it if you don't catch a ton of fish. You know, where for me it was. I used the Helgramite so much on this creek that I'm like, well, I want to do something else. And I wanted to force myself might be some baby bass right there. You know, I wanted to force myself to catch fish on a different technique. And so to see a handful of them in the same pool, hey, I know where they're at. Maybe I'll come back in a couple days. And... Oh, shit. Oh. I was a big carp hiding up under that bush. Scared the heck out of me. Holy moly. Oh. You know, so that's the advantage of the 360 camera. I'm sure we got that on camera. But oh my gosh, did that scare me. This is the fish I've been waiting for or not, but he feels freaking awesome. I still haven't got a good look at him. I don't know if he's just a, a mean fish or if he's a good size one. I think he's just a mean freaking fish. It's not that big. It's 
bat, though. Nice looking fish. Looking fish. Fat fish. Look at that. Nice. There you go. Well, we achieved the mission of the day. Maybe not the quantity, not the size, but caught a fish on top water. I uh, got to feel some nice drag on the on the new prototype rod. Uh, one of the new ones. I actually have a second one I need to test out as well. And the uh, Calcutta Conquest BFS, uh, the 23 version, performed flawlessly as well. So, uh, turns out it is post-spawn right now. So, hopefully in about a week or so, things will really start picking up for, for uh, the smallmouth in this creek. And uh, maybe we'll come out here and hit it again. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.